Okay, so let's do a simple scenario in which we will be using the exception handling in a function module. So in uh, we have done a couple of uh, function modules, but uh, something is something we do have something called exception handling. So uh, we have say divide. I'm just giving giving a new function module divide. You can you can save it in the existing uh, function group, right? So divide function group. So I'm creating a uh, a a is an input type numcy underscore five, and then we have b is an input numcy underscore five. And then out export is C type and now C underscore five and then source code is C is equals to A by B divided by B. Okay. Now we can also write instead of uh, 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 slash we can also write div. Okay, divide by D. This also can be written in, in letters. Okay, now what we want to make sure is we want to make sure B should never be zero. If B becomes zero, exception has to be raised. Okay, so we'll write something like zero, zero divide, zero D. Okay, I'm, I'm just writing zero D, just cut short. Zero divide. So this is the exception we want to write. Raise. Okay, so we have this zero divide. We will go for source code. In the source code, we have we'll write if if b is equals to zero, raise exception, and the exception name is zero. D. Else. C is equal to here. We write end it a divided by c. Okay, so if at all, if first first the system will check whether uh, b is equals to zero. If it is if b is equals to zero, automatically it will raise the exception zero d. Okay, so this is what we are writing here. Save it. zero D and now what we'll do is we'll go ahead with some value here. So uh, once it's been active we are going to call this ZJH underscore divide into our program. Here we'll write the parameters p underscore a 
type numc underscore file p underscore p type numc underscore file and here we'll write this as p underscore a and p underscore b and exporting we'll write okay we'll write in data we'll write some k type numc underscore file exceptions k now exceptions also needs to be uncommented 0d and now 0d is equals to 1 automatically it has come as 0d is equals to 1 if you have if you maintain another another exception it will be coming as 2 so now we are going to specifically uh, uh, write like this this you know if size sub rc is equal is not equal to 0 and if size sub rc is equal to 1 So here we have size of RC equal to 1 and if so it's not recommended to write uh, size of if in if condition again if condition is not required so what we do is instead of this message e so about a001 of set ms g And write trace it divide by zero not allowed size this back and then we'll activate and end if so else 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 part we can write later in data. Okay, so this if and if size of RC that we can I'm commenting this. Later we can write the size of RC. We can check keep on checking the various values of size of RC and then we can write like that. Write write the conditions for that. So this if condition if it is satisfied it will come to it. Now.
So let's say I give it as 10. I give it as 0. It's good. Immediately divide by 0 not allowed. So this about message will be populated and when, when we say exit, it's gone. So you can practice you can practice this in, in just five minutes. So I repeat what I said. So what we did is we went into the exception. In the exceptions, we, we wrote some exception, okay, any name, okay, and we are going to description. In the source code, we have written a condition wherein we are raising the exception here. And when we raise an exception there, automatically when we call it into the program, we call into the program, then automatically this one will come. Here we can we can write one more exception also just for our understanding. We can write one more exception like uh, something like uh, Maxwell. Okay, so so we can write else if. B is greater than B is greater than some thousand. Okay, then raise what is that we have? Max value. Raise max value. This is another one we have. Okay, so if it's greater than, so we are we are making sure that it is not greater than thousand because of some reason. Okay. So we just uh, let me try this. This is the next second second exception that we have. For this second exception to be implemented, we have to call this uh, once again. I'll comment this. Call it once again. And once it's been done, we go for here the underscore a. B underscore B. Here K. And if let's say we have this exceptions, any others, others means anything other than the size of our So now this like size of our C, if size of our C is not equal. So but if size of our C equal to 1 you can write message a001 of zmlg this is already there full stop and then else if psi sub rc is equal to 2 because here if you see 2 automatically it will be by default coming as 2 so in this 2 message something like again a002 zmsg i'm giving a port message only msg and full stop then we'll double click on this and we'll write enter number less than 1000 in denominator Save it back and then this will raise only when we have this. Okay. Again, we are writing else if else if so we can write this as some message E003 of ZMS. can say unknown error save back now once it's been done if and if we have written that okay i'll comment this one now because that's not required we already wrote that save it so, that's so let me raise that exception i'll give this as something like 
10,000 and this I will give it as 1001. Okay. Then execute. Then it says enter number less than 1000 in denominator as populated. Okay. So in this way we can maintain the messages and we can populate them in the program.